YouTube, what's going on consumer reviews and DIYs here, we're back with another DIY video and today we have a leaky bathroom faucet. Um, as you can see, we're leaking about one drop every two to three seconds. So what I did is I tested out both sides. I cut the water off to the hot side and observed to see if the drip was present and also did the same thing with the cold side. So it turns out that it is the hot side. So I'm going to cut the water off on the hot side. I've grabbed a alley wrench set and we're going to take that little uh, screw out of the inside and remove that handle and then we'll go from there. So we remove that. All right, so we're good to go. This after you remove this, uh, this part should just come directly off. Shouldn't give you too much resistance and then you'll have the cartridge exposed. But if you notice, there is a part that we need to take off. And we'll need some type of pliers uh, to do so. You can probably do it with a, a wrench as well. But I'm going to grab some pliers. All right, so now that we cracked that loose, we're going to go ahead and unscrew this, uh, which actually holds the cartridge down in place. Uh, once we get it unscrewed, we'll have full access to the cartridge to go ahead and be able to remove it uh, from its place. Now, the cartridge has been in there for a while, so... It may fight you a little bit to get it out. So you may have to put a glove on or um, you could use your pliers to kind of tug on it left to right to kind of loosen it up. Now, this seal, I didn't show me taking it out, but that fits down on the inside. So it's a seal and also a uh, spring. Now, the seal could be allowing the water to to pass through. Not sure. Or it could be the O-ring uh, that's on the cartridge. This O-ring has a lot of play on it. Uh, so what we'll do is we will find a try to find a seal kit that's going to include the O-ring and that seal that fits down in the bottom to see if we can uh, satisfy it. The cartridge doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look bad. So I don't think that we have an issue uh, with our cartridge. But just in case it is the cartridge, what I'll do is I'll try to find a pack of seals, but also a cartridge as well uh, that should already come with the seals. So worst case scenario if the first fix doesn't work, or we're just trying to fix the um, seals, then we'll just go ahead and replace the cartridge out and just move from there. So time for a Lowe's run. We got our part here to go ahead and try our best to match it up. All right, so I think we are in the right spot. So let's go ahead and take a look and uh, see what we have available. So it looks like we found the equivalent of what I currently have in the bathroom and also found the additional seats and springs kit. Now the uh, seat and spring kit is a little bit under five bucks and the cartridges is running at about 13 bucks. All right, so I'm not gonna film, you know, replacing the seal and the, the, the seat as well. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. You just go ahead and put it back in the way that you took it out. And I've already done that and now I'm testing it. I'm gonna go ahead and run the hot water for a minute and then we'll shut it off and we'll see if that uh, satisfied the leak. So, so far it's, it's looking good. I don't see anything leaking. Let's look carefully. So everything looks good. So uh, the seals actually fixed it without replacing the cartridge. So again, I wanted to you know drop this short video just in case you are experiencing this issue in your bathroom. Um, you can get it done for under five bucks. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to the videos for additional content. And I'll catch you in the next one.